Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on how to create a new account in the ExtraView database. This is the first step in the process to apply for a new commercial feed license. If you currently have an account but simply need to add a new user, this video will address that scenario as well. Once enrolled, you can use the ExtraView database to apply for a commercial feed license, renew your license annually, add a new license location or locations, discontinue a license location, report inspection tonnage tax, and pay your fees online via credit card or check. To learn more, view our how-to videos for each of these processes available on the website. To access the ExtraView database, you can either follow this link directly or visit our Commercial Feed Regulatory Program website and find the ExtraView database button as we will show in this video. On the Commercial Feed Regulatory Program homepage, scroll down to the ExtraView database button and click it. This will take you to the ExtraView database login page. To begin, select the Enroll New User button. This will take you to a form to complete. A few things to remember as you're filling out this form. Anything that's in red is a required field. Also, do not use the browser back button, and if you're using a Mac, do not use the return key since it will log you out without saving. You will fill out all of this information. I'm going to pull up a filled out example to walk through. Fill out all the user information fields with your contact information. Please enter an email address where you want to receive notifications from the program regarding your licenses and tonnage. It may be helpful to use a general email address for the company, which can be monitored by multiple employees to ensure you're receiving the notices. Next, fill in all the firm information. You will select commercial feed here. If your firm is also selling or distributing fertilizer, livestock drugs, or restricted livestock drugs, please select all that apply. Please note that the firm name must match what is stated as the guarantor on feed labels. We recommend double checking that the street name and city are spelled correctly after being entered. Regardless of whether you are doing this for the first time or you're adding a new user, you must complete everything on the form. If you are adding a new user to have access to an existing firm account, it is crucial to ensure the spelling of the firm name, address, and the federal identification number are all the same as they are on the current license. Also, Note that street address on this form should represent the physical address of the business operations where commercial fee is being handled and not necessarily the mailing address. If the mailing address is different, you will leave this as no and enter that information here. If it's the same, you can select yes. Continue down to the section for responsible party. This information entered here should represent the responsible person, typically the owner, president, CEO, etc., for official legal service to the firm. If your firm is listed with a Secretary of State, the identified responsible party may match the agent for service of process. Once you've completed the form, make sure everything is correct. Once you've completed your review, check the I Certify box and hit Submit. Once you hit Submit, there may be an additional security feature to ensure you're not a robot. If you already have a login for another account with the same username or email, a prompt will appear to allow duplicate. Just check the box and hit submit again. The system will acknowledge that your information has been captured, so just hit OK. You will immediately receive an email confirmation with a registration number for reference. You don't need to respond to this email. Your application will be processed and reviewed by CDFA before you will have access to the system. Once approved, usually within two business days, you will receive another email with a user ID and password to access your account in ExtraView. Follow the link to log in. If you are unable to log in or reset your password after logging in, please contact the database administrator at FFL drsdb at cdfa.ca.gov. Now you can log in and you will see your firm's landing page and have the ability to apply for a commercial feed license, 
pay fees, and much more. You can have numerous users enroll themselves for an ExtraView account to access the database. However, only the originator of the record will receive correspondence for your firm from the program via email, including license renewals and tenant reporting. If you are the one submitting an application for a commercial feed license, then you will automatically become the originator and will receive all correspondence for that license. If you are creating a new user account for an existing licensed firm and need to receive correspondence, then email fflrsdb at cdfa.ca.gov and request to be the originator on the record. The person who is listed as the originator on the license will automatically become the originator for the tonnage tax at approval and each annual renewal. It may be helpful to use a general email address for your company, which all users have access to, and set that as the originator. For any other technical issues with the system, email this address. However, all other questions related to commercial feed should be addressed to the CFRIP at feed underscore LVSTK at CDFA dot ca dot gov. Please view the next videos to learn how to apply for a commercial feed license, report tonnage, and more.